Besides the professional military training, which predominantly entails tactics and physical endurance that is required to survive in the battlefield, the newly commissioned officers trained under the new curriculum incorporates academic and character development studies, leading to the award of a bachelor's degree in military and security studies. Currently, the training of our security forces is informed by lessons learned from our involvement in AMISOM and other operations. It is against this background that our defense forces have embraced research and put in place structures for capacity building in order to keep the training relevant to operate in a hybrid threat environment. While commissioning the sixth batch of the military cadets, President Uhuru Kenyatta said the training was revamped to respond to the complex nature of security challenges facing Kenya and the world. Let me say that you must not relent on continuing to support and encourage these young men and women. As these young men and women embark on their new careers, they are bound to face more difficult circumstances than they found here in this college. Hence the reason why we must continuously encourage them. The head of state lauded the Kenya Military Academy in Lanet for being one of the best military academies in the region and on the continent that has continuously churned out outstanding military officers for Kenya, the region and Africa. The president reiterated the country's commitment to pacifying Somalia. Our defense forces remain steadfast in their mission to bring lasting peace and development in the Horn of Africa region with unwavering zeal and determination. And in pursuance of this objective and that of the international community, as I have stated severally, our troops will continue being part of the African Union mission in Somalia until such time that our objective has been achieved. Best performing officers were awarded with the president assuring the government's full support to military operations.